Hey guys, uh, so I wanted to do for you tonight um, kind of like my highlighter collection. I have done this like a year ago I think and so I've amassed a couple more products since then obviously and I just wanted to go through some of the stuff I loved, some of the stuff I keep just because I think I'll end up loving it but um, anyway so I'll get, get started. I'm doing this in high def so I only have like 11 minutes to film. <clears throat> anyway. Um, some of the first ones I've ever loved, my very first favorite highlighter was the Dior Amber Diamond. This is a fantastic highlighter, um, number 002 Amber Diamond. And it's the, everyone's talked about it, you've seen it before, it's um, beige, gold highlight, looks like that. And it's really pretty. Um, on the skin, it gives off that effect so pretty. Now on the skin gives a nice shimmer and I've just been really happy with it. It's more of a beigey type of gold. It's not like Albatross which is like a white gold which I don't have anymore. I did like that one but it was a little too for my skin tone it was, ended up being too frosty on me. Like you could see it versus like melting into the skin and giving you a glow. It didn't do that for me. So that was the first one. And these two I really like. Um, the Mary Luminizer by uh, the balm. Sorry, I'm really winded. So pretty. Um, melts into the skin. The consistency is all the reason like why to use it. It's so good. It's this one. And it's a champagne color. I really like this one. And I'll give you a swatch. This one looks, you know, like a white gold, right? But on the skin, it will melt into like a pale gold. So good. And again, finely milled, so you're not going to get a lot of glitter from this one. You won't get any glitter from that one. And then along the same lines, I just started using this, and I actually really like it for on the cheekbones, too. It's the Betty Luminizer Bronzing Bandit. So this is by the Balm, and looks like that. So good. Um, so this is like Copper Penny Bronze, okay? And this one, if you're darker complected, let me see that. It is so pretty. It's uh, very, very shimmery, but will give you um, like the copper penny bronze. So if you're like NC42, 43, um, NC45, it's going to give you that crazy glow, but it's super subtle. You won't even know you're wearing it. So that's really good. Um, what else? Uh, okay, my favorite highlighter, and I will say that I know that this is one you can't find anymore, but it is so pretty, and it's a rose gold, like the Rose Rendezvous by Laura Mercier is the perfect name for it. It looks like that, and I've seen it before a million, bajillion times, and this is a perfect, like, pinky, frosty highlight. Ooh. I'll put that at the very bottom, and that one's down there. And, I mean, if you look at all of these, they all give off the same glow, the same shimmer, but they all have, like, a different undertone to them, and this one, I would say, is the pinkest of them. Now, if you are looking for the dupe for this, I would say the closest one is probably Amber Diamond, so these two. Although, you can see the high shine finish is much more on this one, but this one is pretty close to it. Um, this one's a little more powdery than... Um, the Laura Mercier one, but they're still just really good. And this one, I keep it because, I don't know, I don't know why I keep it, but <laughs> this is the MAC, um, what is this, the Honey Rose Magically Cool Liquid Powder, so I don't know if you remember, it came like this, and the gimmick behind this was that it was supposed to be like cooling, like it's got water properties, so it's cool on contact on your skin, but then it dries to a powder, and this is like really sparkly, it's almost like, um, like the loose pigments, you know, they, they have glitter in them, and so when you open it up, it kind of fluffs out a bunch of glitter, and that's kind of what this does. I don't know if you can see all that, but I keep the sticker on because I know this stuff will, like, come flying out, but I'll swatch it, and you'll see what I mean by, like, sparkly. It's pretty, nonetheless, but sparkly for sure, and I'll put that right here. And I can put this on, I would put it on my cheekbones, but then I discovered that it, f it flew a lot, it had a lot of fallout. Uh, it's right there. And it will give your skin, you know, a, a glow, but it's going to be all over the place. Like, it's flying around everywhere, even now. But, 
I keep it because I have high hopes for it. I mean, if you get, I guess if you buff it enough, I'm going to try this. Well, if I buff it, it just goes away. So maybe buffing doesn't work. But like I said, these all weren't like the most successful ones. That one was not one of my most successful highlights. Um, as far as liquid goes, I keep liquid ones on hand because sometimes I like to mix them with my foundation or my tinted moisturizer. Or sometimes I just like to keep it on with no foundation or anything and just kind of put some on my high points in my face and just be glowy that day. And I'll show you which ones do that for me. Um, this one is the Makeup Forever Up Light Gel, Face Luminizer Gel. So I purchased that recently. This has got a major, major high shine to it. I wouldn't mix this with foundation because, let's wipe this off. This one is just really metallic. So if you are looking, you have to work really fast too because it dries really fast. But I go like this and like the pump is kind of I don't know, this is the number 23, by the way. This one I just have to very, very gently push some out. Okay, so this, just like by rubbing very gently, I get that finish. So you see what I'm saying, like it's a super high shine finish, but you have to buff really fast into where you want it and it's going to stay though so if you're looking for like something to wear to the beach or for swimming this will definitely stay on your skin and I mean it does leave a beautiful finish it's just I wouldn't mix this in with my foundation like I said but it's on once it's on it's on so that one I keep around um, along the same lines is Smashbox Artificial Light Glow Luminizing Lotion I got this sample and it practically looks exactly the same to be completely honest Ooh, uh, comes out like that whoa it's a lot it's like dripping out and again you have to work really fast or it's gonna dry and you're gonna have like a patch of it so this one's a little more liquidy and it's right there it's a little more water based I would say but again this will stay pretty much all day it's got a little bit more gold, whereas the number 23 has a little more pink in it, but very shimmery, very metallic, and it'll pretty much last you all day. I just, I'd be really careful with it. Super careful. Um, the other one I like, this is really subtle, um, the Strobe Cream by MAC, and this is actually really great. I love this one. This is the $10 small travel size. It's lasted me a really long time, and I'll just take a little bit of it. This I will mix with my foundation, no problem. and comes out like a white cream and I'll just take it and this is one of those ones I forgot I don't know the word for it but it comes out like almost like a hologram like it has different dimensions to it when you put it on your skin and it's just a nice dewy finish it's a glowy it's meant to be glowy on the skin I'll mix that with my foundation and it smells so good too so I like that one or I'll take my Sephora 55 brush for any of these and I'll just like buff it right here and right here with the wet products at least and this one I love but I think this one got discontinued and it's probably one of my favorites right now I can mix this with foundation I can put it on my cheekbones just for any day and it's the age the Revlon age defying spa face illuminator in 030 gold light and I love this one this one is great it smells really good it has the brush so you turn it on or off I feel like I've talked about this a million times, probably because I have. Um, let's see, so it's on. This one, mix with foundation, no problem. It's not glittery. It's on the beige tan side, so it's not like a white kind of ghost type of contrast. It looks like that when you first get it on. And you just rub it in. And if you can see, my hand is just like glowy and it feels so good on your skin. I don't break out from it. Um, it stays all day. I just feel really good and I don't have to wear foundation with it. I can put it here and here and here and it's just beautiful. I love it and it smells good and it was also like $1.99 <laughs> on clearance so I should have bought like five of them. But as far as like my favorites go, I'm gonna have to go with the Revlon Age Defying for liquids. Um, and then for dry or powder, I'm going to go with Laura Mercier Rose Rendezvous. And so just to be two. on the safe side, since both of these are not available, 
everywhere. I would say if you're looking for the Rose Rendezvous highlighter, pick up the Amber Diamond by Dior. That's like tried into it's a really good one. And then if you're looking for a nice liquid foundation or a liquid highlighter, um, Oh, I didn't even mention this one, but this one's amazing. This is probably the front runner. Um, Matte Cream Color Base in Hush. This is a frost. This is great because you can't mess this up because it's a cream, it's like a base. So it's thick, and you just dip your finger in. So it looks like, it's on it. There we go. Looks like that. And you just put it anywhere you need. And it's actually pink based, so rose gold based. My hand, it's all looking the same, right? But this one, it's like 17 bucks, I don't really remember. And it will stay, it will slip though. Like it doesn't stay like the gels. If you're looking for waterproof, um, Makeup Forever, the up light will stay on. And this is a great subtle highlight if you can't find this one. So there's tons. Um, yeah, and that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.